Kelly Cry, little mom, I'm done crying. What's up, Juice Gang? It's your boy Juice, and I'm coming to you live with some more juice. <laughs> As I stated, I was going to go into a little bit more detail about depression and depression things that I've been suffering for for a very long time. It did really hinder me from making videos. Um, when I get into a depressive state, it does kind of affect my work in some sense. I still continue to push on through it. Like when I'm at work, I still work. But it's just the bubbliness of me, the cutesiness, the, all that that I that pizzazz that people love. Because people are like, you're not yourself today. And then someone that also told me, um, they were like, you're not always up, but when you're up, we love it. And when you're down, we understand. And that, that hit me, because I almost cried. Because <laughs> I was like, dang. That's something, me being an introvert, I've never really expected from anyone. I never really asked from anyone. I just really keep all of it bottled up into myself. I don't really speak on when I'm sad. I don't really, ask people to you know feel sorry for me or motivate me i don't really ask for anything like that i just distance myself away from the world i distance myself from all that's going on around me i try to solve and resolve it within my own head and sometimes it worked for a short period of time and then a lot of times it just makes me even more sad it makes me even more depressed it makes me not want to go on like I've been suicidal before um <clears throat> and that's not a place that you ever want to be in it's not a place that most people expect themselves to be in it's something that really takes a toll on you but I learned from my grandmother God rest her soul she told me to speak to write it down to meditate she told me to talk to my mom, talk to her, talk to anybody. What, whatever I need to do to feel better is the way I should go about it. And as an adult is when it actually kind of got a little worse for me. Because as an adult, you expect to know it all. Well, not know it all, but you know, you're expected to have things under control. So you have a job, you have a place, you have a car. You're supposed to handle it. You go to school. You know, you make your life better. It's, it's your duty, your own sole responsibility to make your life great. And me being a, per, a huge dreamer. Oh, I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> me being a huge dreamer, like, I've always imagined my life so much different. So, when I hit 25, shoot. <laughs> when I hit 25... It really hit me because I'm not in a place that I want it to be. Shit. <laughs> and all the things that's going on around me that has happened to me, that shit hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm a cuss because I'm trying not to cut. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. But me going through that and then, you know, trying to take it on by myself and seeing that I'm not going up I'm like stuck in the same spot and then sometimes I feel even lower it really bothers me and it makes me not want to go on so I try to prep myself up I try to be positive around people that let people see what's going on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and um, try to laugh it off and keep it going. But I, I just know I don't have it all. I, 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 it's not that I want it all. But, you know, I just want to at least do what I want to do. But I can't say, like, now... I'm in a better place than I once was. So I can't really complain too much. So I don't. And I always tell myself not to complain. Just keep going. It'll happen all the time. And then I don't talk to people. And I just keep going. But. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I ain't want to be a big baby on this damn camera. <laughs> 
Oh man. Um, but you know, when you're an adult, they expect you to have it all, have everything under control. But you know, sometimes you don't. And when you don't, and you failing, or you feel like you failing, it really bothers you. It take a toll on you. Sometimes it puts you in a state that you don't want to be in. And you try not to think about it. You keep pushing it off. You keep trying to listen to people saying you got it. Keep going and stuff like that. And when when it's not going, it's and you feel like you don't got it, it really gets to you. And then you don't speak about it if you're like me, being an introvert, not want people to be in your business, not want to burden people. Not want to bring nobody down, you try to keep it to yourself. So. <sighs> oh, man. So that's normal what I do. Like, I don't tell people about it, I don't talk about it, I just keep, keep it to myself. And keep it moving. But, you know, when I hit 25, I really start thinking about how my life is going. And, um, it really bothered me. Because I seen it different. And, you know, I was always told as a child, you, you ever want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Because <laughs> his plan is different. So I don't know what, the, what, what his plan is for me. But I know what I want to do. And hopefully... You know, somewhere down the line, you know, it kind of coexists with each other. You know, me holding it in and not talking for the longest about what's going on in my life. And, I, well, I briefly talk about it, but I don't really, you know, make too big news of it. I'd be like, oh, my life is in shit. So I said that when I was at VidCon. Still is. You know, it ain't, it ain't changed. Like, I came back and I'm doing the same thing that I was doing before I left. So... It's like I don't have the guidance to do or be where I want to be. Like I have all the brains. <laughs> it's a Leo. That's what they say. <laughs> you got all the brains <laughs> to want to do this and do that. <laughs> but when you're a Leo and that's not happening, <laughs> being an ambitious person and not living out those ambitions. It's different. And the bipolarness and being an introvert, all these combinations, for me, <laughs> ain't no good. <laughs> but I really stopped talking to people about it. I wasn't even telling my mom, my best friend, what's going on with me. I, like, they kind of know a little bit what's going on, but they don't know what's really going on with me. And I'm always saying to use your voice, share your flavor, this, that, the other. But I never really share that with y'all i just like show like i mean i'm always laughing like that's that's real stuff i'm not really always showing people like the other side of me like being unhappy being mad stuff like that i don't really try to show that side it happens i'm not perfect but i stop using my voice i stop doing what i'm coming on camera telling you guys to do share your flavor with the world like how can i be a hypocrite like that and i'm not doing it myself so, I had to stop making those videos. I was like, stop. Like, because I, I I, really don't like hypocrites. I really don't like to, you know, say one thing and do another. So, for a while, I, I stopped making videos. But now, I'm back. I'm always saying I'm back. I'm, I'm probably like the king of saying, juice is back. <laughs> Merch coming soon. <laughs> I'm always like, I'm striving for it. I'm really working towards my dreams, but it's, you know, like, you know, you have your time. You know, your time ain't God's time. And you, and you want stuff to happen now. Being a millennial, you want it now. Being young, you want it to come through now. Now, 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 now. Like, I don't want later, I want now, you know? So, me being like that, it really hit on the motherfucker. <laughs> because the only thing I can think of is I want it now. I want to do it now. I want to do it now. Like, I'm always thinking about that I'm, I'm i'm living in the now and working but i feel like i'm not working towards my dreams so i'm still fighting with myself like my biggest enemy is me because it's like oh you're not doing it oh this like i have like so much self-doubt like and i try to be the advocate oh work towards your dreams and not doing it doing it but not doing it like i feel like i should like i said i always got all the brains i feel like i should like just quit both jobs and try to find like a studio that you know uses film so i can like get better at working with all the different mechanics in the film industry but it 
I don't have guidance. Like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go. Nobody's going to, like, from what my experience, nobody's going to hire you without experience. I don't have experience with the camera outside of YouTube, with outside of, you know, TV production, going to in high school, outside of, you know, doing, like, little things here and there. Like, when I went to, but it was on Craigslist, so I don't think they'd take that. But, I mean, I know some things. I don't know everything. So... That's one. And then, like, with business. Like, I've never had a business before. I mean, I got plenty of knowledge. I, I went to school for business. But without that degree, a lot of places don't take you serious. So, the things that I want to do, not doing it. And then, you know, I'm just trying to make ends meet. I, I've been in so much debt. <sighs> Everything hit me. <laughs> and then I got a video coming out for you guys that I was going to put out at the top of the year because I didn't want to put it out now. And then you guys will kind of understand what hitting rock bottom really is like for me. And if I can put it out sooner, I may. But at this point in time, I'm not. Um, but <laughs> I did go ahead and make that video because it was really on my mind. And it really bothered me. But with depression and being an introvert is a worse combination. <laughs> Find someone that you can confide in. Your best friend. Sometimes you don't want to confide in the people that know you so well. So you need to confide in someone like a counselor that don't know you at all. Seek that if that's what you need. But confide into somebody. Talk to somebody. Use your voice. Don't get in a depressive state because it only makes matters worse. It doesn't help. Speaking from experience, suicidal thoughts is a serious thing. And it's something that once you have them, they never really go away. So speak. <laughs> speak. Definitely work towards your dreams, whatever that may be. I don't care if it's you wanting to get out of the hood. Whatever it takes, get out the hood. Don't kill nobody. But you know what I mean? Like, whatever it takes to strive t towards your dreams to get away from all that. Kill the leeches because the negativity around you doesn't help. That could be your job sometimes. You need to change jobs. That could be school. You might need to change schools. It could be the people that you involve yourself with. You may need to change people that you hang around. Whatever that is. Kill them bitches. Kill them leeches. You don't need that. This life is not meant for you to be sad. This life is not meant for you to not live out what God want for you. So do that and strive to be the best. And whatever it is, this one is a little too sad for me. Nah, I gotta go. <laughs> I can't cry no more. I'm done crying. <laughs> I'm done crying. I'm done. I don't want to be depressed, but it's something that I struggle with like majority of my life. And it's still, it's still bothering me. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like when I get out of bed in the morning, it's something that comes on my mind. It's like waking up to put on your clothes and it's going everywhere with you. Sometimes I try to prep talk myself in the morning, be happy, bitch. I'm <laughs> 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 in a bitch. Laughing a lot. That helps. Meditating. That helps. Writing it out. Speaking with people. Whatever you got to do to get it out. Because holding it in is unhealthy. And it only makes you think about it more. It only makes you more depressed. It only makes it worse. And I gotta go. <laughs> because if I don't, I feel like I'm gonna get depressed again. <laughs> and I just kind of talked about it. <laughs> I'm slowly but surely letting it out. <laughs> That's what I've been dealing with and that's one of the main reasons why I haven't been posting in a while One of the main reasons that it takes me some time to like do a video after another video Like I have so many skits and I had so many skits. I had a whole phone full of skits Then my phone got stolen I had to start over <laughs> I feel and I believe I truly believe that making people laugh is like the blessing God gave me because Anytime I'm around somebody, like, we cut up and we laugh and we have fun. And we can talk about something serious and laugh and have fun. <laughs> and I'll say that, like, three times in a row because that's what we do. <laughs> laugh and have fun. Lots and lots of laugh. And love on each other. And inspire each other and motivate each other. That's the kind of conversations I love to have. So I'm going to try to bring that to YouTube for you guys. Um... Mind you, I'm not perfect, so sometimes it's going to be a little depressing what I'm going through, but I need to get it out. So, YouTube is like my little video diary. <laughs> but more stuff coming soon. 
very soon. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening to me. And if you are going through what I'm going through, if you are, you know, in a depressive state, hopefully my other videos with me laughing makes you laugh. Hopefully you can, you know, write me. Seek a therapist. They have plenty of outlets almost everywhere. I got them online. If you're in school, go have counselors that will counsel you. If you're in daycare, some daycares have it. Not all, but some. If you need to speak to a friend, family member, someone not a friend, a complete stranger, keep yourself busy. That helps. Keeping yourself busy does help. I'm sorry that this one is sad. <laughs> But hopefully the next one not. I want to say once again, thank you guys for watching. And until next time with some more juice. Hopefully the next time is more happy juice. <laughs> Your boy juice is out. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you.